Alright gang, we're late to the party, but it's a party nonetheless. Um Crash of the Titans with Iron Man Hulk Buster. And we have our good friend Hydra Stomper. Uh we'll talk about that and then we're gonna uh talk about the uh the new Marvel I mean well the new Deadpool Daily and all that all that entails. So anyway, Hulk Buster, Red Black, and Blue User, way back in the day, he was meta relevant. Now, you know, he's a part of a combo with Shang-Chi and Onslaught. Uh, Red is a repulsive punch, it costs 9. It deals, it deals damage to the target based on the amount of red that you have. So, if you have 10 red AP, you know, it'll do uh, whatever the whatever the listed damage is times, you know, 10. So it's all multiplicative. So the more red AP you have, the more damaging Repulsor Punch is. Obviously a max of 30. So you can get some some pretty insane, insane uh, knockdowns with his... Uh, Repulsor Punch, but with the AI, AI isn't going to hold that 9 uh, red AP for long. It's going to use it whenever whenever they get it. Alright, uh, black ability is called Overdrive, and this costs 11. So what it will do, it will give Hulkbuster uh, red AP. I think it's going to be 7 at level 3. And it'll create two yellow strike tiles on the board. Now the downside is with overdrive, it's gonna drain uh, some of Hulkbuster's health. So that's the that's the negative part behind it. And then finally, uh, I forget what the blue is called, but I know this cost um, 90 p as well. And so what it'll do. It'll convert some number of basic green tiles to basic red tiles. And then it'll put blue trap tiles, I mean not blue trap tiles, it'll put blue protect tiles on the board. And then whatever cascades will happen, you know, d you know, AP will be generated and all that good stuff, you know, from the cascades. That's Hulk Buster pretty much in a, no in a nutshell. Uh both blue and black will feed directly into his red ability um, affiliations obviously Teen Iron Man Avengers um, so on and so forth alright so we got the Hydra Stomper Steve Rogers here uh, this is Howard Stark's second greatest creation at least in an alternate timeline so Hydra Stomper, uh, yellow, blue, and green user, and let's just say we'll be able to fully utilize Hydra Stomper's abilities now because he's he's in a one-on-one -on -one fight. So the front line, this costs eight in yellow, so it'll convert three basic tiles of enemy's weakest color to you know pretty pretty strong protectiles and then hard just uh, passively hard just offer can't be stunned and if Peggy Carter is an ally neither can she but again this is going this is a Hulk Buster doesn't have the ability to stun anyway so you know big whoop all right Engine of War, this is passive. Anytime Hulk Bust I mean Hulk Buster. Hydra Stomper makes a match. Well well once per turn when Hydra Stomper makes a match, he'll create a countdown tile on whatever color it is that you match. Uh obviously, you know, non team up non team ups as well. Well anyway, uh so you destroy one friendly, one friendly uh, AP, and then one enemy AP in that color, 
and then you create a three-turn countdown tile that generates AP and whatever color that you match. And if the match was made against the villain, then the countdown tile generates six AP. And at higher levels, um, a, you know, and a decrease in the amount of AP that's destroyed. Well, an increase in the amount of AP is destroyed, decrease in the length of the countdown tile, and both increases on on what the uh, countdown tiles generate as far as AP goes. And then finally, Stomp, uh, the Kurt Franklin song. Uh, this costs 10, and what it does, it destroys nine random uh, enemy basic and team up tiles, and then for the rest of the turn, if there's black tiles that come on the board, you know, either through cascades or from uh, other people's abilities, you know, randomly destroying tiles on the board. Uh, <clears throat> then you create a two turn countdown tile. Uh, well, two turn countdown tiles that deal whatever the listed damage is. And of course, the short tiles deal damage but don't but don't gain AP. Uh, as far as Hydra Stompers affiliations, is heroes, because, well, this version of Steve Rogers, uh, <laughs> you know, really didn't exist. So, now what I was going to get at, um, the strategy for Hydra Stomper, well, let's get green. And, um, and, you know, occasionally make matches with, uh, red so that we can drain AP from Hulk Busters, um, Repulsor Punch, and all that good stuff. Uh, as far as boosts go, boost green, green, black, and, and probably yellow. Uh, I'm not going to roll with any, uh, roll with any team most or anything like that there so we're gonna uh go ahead and jump into the fight
No, that was a lot closer than what I would really wanted it to be, but uh, yeah, that's uh, Hydrostone for in a nutshell. I'll just pair him up with Peggy Carter and let him tank, so to speak. So now the uh, the changes to uh, to De Deadpool Daily. So we're gonna be getting a seven day cycle instead of our normal five day cycle. So it gives me a little bit of time to you know look at whose crash is coming up. Well, well I know Drax's crash is coming up Monday. So. So we'll have, we'll know this would be Monday, and what I'll do is I'll do <clears throat> a very uh, full video looking at all of the changes. Uh, so going to be two additional nodes containing new challenges and rewards, and then every other Deadpool daily. So it's not going to be this one here, the coming up with tracks, but the one, the one the. Uh, <clears throat> the week of the 23rd on the 26th yeah my bad because i'm thinking thinking fridays anyway the week of the 20 the 26 that's going to be an alternate crash that's going to have uh two crashes a titan's nodes and of course i will show those they're off and then it says uh taco tokens are now universal going on so what <clears throat> so what does that mean? So the the savory taco tokens that these taco tokens here, uh, as of one day twenty hours from now, <clears throat> as of this recording here, um, these tokens are going to be are going to be retired. So what I'm going to do is a I'll I'll run through my Deadpool Daily stuff today, get all those tokens there, drain out the whole entire vault with 300, get the reset, drain out a whole whole another 300. So that's gonna take me uh, a long, long time. And then also too, they're going to uh, introduce. Uh, uh, three-star characters uh, with the <clears throat> with the uh, the the oh my goodness the Deadpool daily so and so normally we would have um, whoever whoever's on on their regular cycle well we're gonna be adding new characters into the cycle every it seems like it's going to be almost every month because I think that's that's pretty much when a five star gets released. So whoever the uh, the newest three three five star three star five star is, we'll be looking at them and you know going forward from there. So uh, thank you all for all for watching. Uh, like I said, I'll be back with Monday's video detailing a new Crash of the Titans in its entirety and then we'll talk about you know all the the roster the roster changes that they're gonna make as far as hero points and how much you know the the cost for roster slots goes down once you reach 300 and so you know be excellent to your fellow human beings and I said I'll catch y'all in the next one peace